everybody, it's your old pal Tina here, and welcome back to another video. It is bright and early on a Tuesday morning. I'm talking quietly because my partner is still sleeping in the other room of the apartment. <laughs> Half past seven, I've been up since 5.30 for reasons, and I thought today would be a fun day to do basically a daily vlog. If you've been following my channel for a year now, which you probably haven't, let's be real, you might know that I started taking this vlogging path seriously back last December with Vlogmas. And during Vlogmas, I managed to do uh, it was something like 12 videos that were mostly day or a few day vlogs. And once I reduced myself to a more reasonable weekly schedule, I stopped doing the daily vlogging thing. But to celebrate one year of us being here on YouTube, I thought it would be fun to go back to our old ways. <laughs> So I figured today was as good as any to take you along with me. I actually tend to have the most energy first thing in the morning when I wake up. I used to be such a night hawk where I would get all my work done after, after dark, as it were. But as of the last few years, things have changed. So I'm going to seize this burst of energy at the start of my day and do a painting that is a upcoming Christmas gift. And also on my plate today is getting all of my lunch boxes packed up for all of my supporters over on Patreon. I've been rewatching the X-Files recently, so maybe I'll put that on but I've also been listening to this really nice lo-fi Christmas soundtrack <laughs> and I've definitely not been listening to it since early November I don't know what you're talking about and has anybody else watched that four hour plagiarism video because I'm three hours into it and I, I gotta finish it today I think <laughs> without further ado let's start our day It's been a noisy day here in the city. Um, it's just about noon now and I'm finished my painting. I took a little bit of a rest. I'm feeling like I have a little bit more energy and I can start on another task. 
I did end up adding a few more details. It's a little blown out in the video here. Um, darkened the background a bit and added some sparkles. Just the background wasn't really speaking to me and I was kind of going for more of a monochromatic look for this painting than I usually would by doing the blue in the fur and the background. I don't know if it's like super successful, but it's a gift, so it's a good opportunity to do some experimentation. <laughs> my main big task for the day is getting together all of my Patreon rewards for November. I have everything ready to go, so it's just about packing everything, writing thank you notes, getting things sealed and stamped. I really don't like getting stuff in the mail over the holiday season. I'm definitely concerned because last year there were a lot of Patreon rewards that were sent in December that did not meet their destination inevitably but I should have some leftover stuff and at the end of the day if people don't get their packages I will do what must be done to make amends. I would say when it comes to like packages going missing it's definitely one a month at least and then I often get stuff rebounding to me but I would say it's probably like five to ten packages a year that rebound and a lot of the stuff that goes missing never ends up back with me so god knows where those things end up you know what maybe I should write a comic about a letter that goes missing and like the journey that it goes on when it's supposed to get to its actual destination I'm pretty tired given that I woke up at 5 30 um <laughs> I'd like to be finished everything by five. This is always a big task and I like to try and break it up into two days if possible, but I really want to get these packages out now. I usually give myself to the 14th of the month, but today is the 5th and I'll hopefully get them out tomorrow on the 6th. Honk. See, I don't know why it's so loud today. There was like fire alarm testing next door. There's this weird like wailing drilling sound that's been happening for a few weeks. There's like 10,000 garbage trucks that go through the back alley every single week as well. And the cat has been driving me insane. But that's not new. That's every day. Well, it's nearly 5.30 now, and I did not get done nearly as much as I had dreamed, which, let's be real, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, all of the lunchboxes are stuffed, as I call it, which means all of the rewards are inside. The only things left to do is to do a thank you note for the regular lunchbox subscribers, write the names, stuff them in, seal all the envelopes, and add the postage. Um, 
which is still a lot of work to be honest. I'm not sure if I'll continue that tonight or if I'll pick that up tomorrow and then they'll still be able to get in the mailbox by the end of the day. But I thought we could just look at together for record's sake the stuff that I'm sending in this month's or uh, November's big lunch box. So the theme was Wicked Winter. We can start with the sticker sheet. Uh, this was the sticker sheet that was included. It was really fun. I knew I wanted to stick a Krampus on there so I guess that was sort of the inspiration for the whole thing. And then I was trying to find ways to not be like too Christmassy to mostly just evoke winter which to me is like snow. Sorry Australia but <laughs> and then just kind of taking the wicked gothy alternative um, vibes in as many different directions as I could with the multiple different ghosts. The I think that the ghoul snowmen are, are my favorite. They remind me of the snow goons from Calvin and Hobbes. And then this is also kind of a fave, this like nice strip piece here. I think that's that's gonna go really well for people who might use them for journaling. Yeah, and then there is the printed version of the ornament printable that I put up for all of my subscribers in my snack pack. Um, I wanted to send a printed version for people because I know that certainly there are people who don't have access to printers, so I just figured it was nice to send the printed one. And then I have the greeting card. And I did end up asking my patrons over in my Discord um, whether or not they wanted the card to be blank on the inside or be addressed to them from me. And they went with the second option, so I was writing uh, to and from in all of these, and that went in the big lunch boxes as well. And finally, probably my favorite item from the set, not going to lie, a little snow globe, Nori's. <laughs> and these are vinyl stickers. Um, I've kind of gone back and forth on the material for like the extra sticker in the lunchbox clubs, but I think it's gonna be vinyl from now on. So there's usually a vinyl sticker. There's always the stationary sticker sheet. And then two more items that are usually print related or sometimes other stickers too. It's, I love the freedom. I love the freedom. It keeps it from getting boring. I also forgot to mention when I was talking to you guys earlier that this month is a little bit different because I also have to fulfill some shop orders for patrons. I have like a patron shop that I put up all the leftovers from this year's subscription club items that I don't really sell anywhere else and have just been rotting in my cupboard. <laughs> and I think like 22 people placed orders. So those ones will be separated after the thank you notes step that I'll do. And I'll put the extra items along with an invoice in so that yeah, they know what they ordered and they can double check that they got everything they ordered. <laughs> but I don't know. I think I squeezed my brain a lot today and the cat has been like not resting. He has been back active, actively catting all over me. I know that I started the day with a painting and I'm kind of tempted to end the day with a painting as well. And if not a painting, maybe some drawing just because I think I owe it to myself to be a little bit creative. I already was creative today. I don't know. As if I don't, I don't draw like every other day of the week.
thank you so much for joining me here for another vlog today. I hope you enjoyed the one day mini vlog. <laughs> Next week, I will be back with a market vlog, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more content from me. Like the video before you leave, and as well, I just wanna take this last moment to thank all of my patrons over on Patreon. They are the reason that I can make these YouTube videos, and if you wanna join them, you absolutely can. Please check out the link in the description box below. I post all kinds of extra content there, as well as sending out mailable rewards to my 10 and $25 tiers. Stay sparkly, everyone. Don't let the cruel world dull your shine, and I will see you next time.